So you may ask, why should we invest in India? And my view is, you can't ignore India today. It's always been an attractive consumer market. The issue has possibly been around difficulties of doing business in India. What we have now is a new government that is focused on just this, making it easier for companies that want to work in India going forward in manners which enable them to come to India, which enable you to work in whichever space you choose to. And therefore, it is important to make sure that your past experiences aren't colouring your future thinking going forward. And I should add, there were many companies who were already in India who, despite the difficulties, even over the last year, have voted for India. And in fact, uh, my bank, HSBC, has advised many of them. Uh, Unilever put in three and a half billion dollars into India, upping their stake in Hindustan, Unilever in India. GSK put in $2 billion into India, upping their stakes in their pharma and consumer business. And Diageo now has done the same in terms of, again, buying shares in United Spirits as a huge investment into what they see as the future of India. So even while the going was bad, when GDP growth had dropped, we had companies that existed in India putting their money there. And now going forward, given a new regime, a regime that is looking to make the investor story into India that much more attractive. I think it is time to look at India again if you aren't there already. And if you are, to look at increasing the capital investment as you have it. At another level, uh, the engagement of industry across the board with government is there now to basically reform everything in the labor laws area, to bring in some degree of uh, regulatory, uh, let's say, vision into the tax regime because there is clearly an issue around taxes that came in at a level that was retrospective or indeed that was open for misinterpretation and uh, we did see what is being called by Indian industry tax adventurism, tax terrorism and such terms which have fallen right now on very sympathetic years and we do believe that at least some of this aggression of the last two to three years, aggression born because India's fiscal deficit was and is in a difficult position, but an understanding today that it is to some extent killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. And it's important therefore that the tax regimes be sorted through. So there is promise of that as well. And I would therefore say that this is therefore a new resurgent India as it takes its GDP back up to 8%. Uh, most estimates suggest in the next two to three years, uh, a story therefore for every company to engage in and be part of.